And now, Sports Live. Connor Payne brings the pain with a 71 yard punt return TD. Don a Thomas Ensley field goal in the final seconds. Hillcrest wins the Civil War. Following a winless 2021 season, the Hillcrest Knights returned to the postseason last year. So this season, the Knights look to continue that upward trend to greater heights. The Sports Line High School Football Preview Series, presented by your Southern Idaho Honda dealers, continues with Hillcrest. The Hillcrest Knights went from zero wins two years ago to five wins and a playoff spot last season. Now the Knights look to keep building on that success in 2023. I think we truly think that uh, the sky's the limit for this group. We had a lot of sophomores playing my first year here, and those kids were all juniors uh, last year. And now we have 30 seniors on the roster this year that have played a lot of varsity football. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> we, we, we think that we're well positioned uh, to make a deep run, uh, but we got to just take things uh, day by day, get better every day, and take things week by week. Head coach Brennan Mossholder says that pursuit for a deep run starts with their QB. Peyton King uh, is entering his third year as a starter, um, and that just it makes things a lot easier for me as an offensive play caller when he kind of knows what I'm going to call before I even call it. Uh, he truly understands uh, the offense, and he's a state track qualifier. He can beat you with his arms or his legs. That's really important. I would say Braxton Battleson is another guy. He was the fifth fastest kid in the state as a sophomore. Uh, going into his senior year at safety, he kind of leads the defensive secondary. Brock Hopkins, a middle linebacker, uh, is really the kind of quarterback of the defense. Uh, Cole Maddox is a guy that um, anchors both sides of the line for us. 260 pounder that's lived in the weight room. So, you know, I'm missing a bunch of guys because we got a lot of really good football players and that's a good problem to have. Hillcrest will also have a new home field this year, Westmark Stadium, after sharing Thunder Stadium with Bonneville for the last 30 years. Even though it won't be ready for the start of the season, the Knights are anxious to play in their new home. They're fired up. They're ready to go. They're, they're asking me every day uh, when we're going to get on that field. I have no control over that. Um, we're, we're trying to take things day by day, but when that day comes, it's going to be a very exciting day. It'll give us a first-class practice facility. It'll be great for our grid kid programs. Uh, we'll play games on it every Thursday and Friday. Our soccer teams will be out there. Lacrosse will be out there. So we're really excited about it. Haven't used a dime of taxpayer funds, 100% uh, privately funded, um, but it's going to be a game changer for our school and our community. Hillcrest will head south along I-15 to Century to begin its 2023, 2023 campaign next Friday night. Now, Todd Hillcrest is one of the most interesting teams to watch all around the state because of that upward trend. Zero wins to five wins. Now, what will we see this year? Yeah, and the, the uh, preseason polls just came out mm -hmm. yesterday. They were just barely outside the top five. Yeah, one of the teams outside the top five that did receive votes. So they've got the attention of some people around the state. Maybe not enough to get in that top five yet, but they have the eyes of a lot of people on them this year. Okay, we'll be watching too. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks.